Well, hello there. Long time no see. So, we are doing another car block. I am on my way to the dentist to get my oral surgery. And can I just tell you, I am a nervous wreck. Yes, I am. I have not even been asleep yet. I hate dentists. I mean, I hate them. I had a lot of bad experiences with them. And, well, not a lot, but some traumatic. And, um... Every time I go to the dentist, it's like, okay, something's wrong. Every time I go get my cleaning, you know, it's like, oh, well, now you have this cavity, you need this root canal, you have this. And I have I always take care of my teeth because I've always had teeth issues. Well, I've never had a cavity until I was like 21, 22 years old. Never had a cavity. Once I start having kids, forget it, you know? It's really weird. And then, like, you know, I was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of 18, and just for many years and then you know as an adult not having dental insurance you know I didn't have dental insurance until 2012 when I got married to my husband so I always had to go to clinics and this and that and then you know for a long time I didn't go to the dentist until I was in pain because I didn't have the money and by that time when something's in pain either you need a root canal and my option was just pull the damn tooth because I didn't have the money for the for the crown and all that other kind of stuff you know so anyway, I have to, well, this one, uh, it, your very first molar on your right side, my right, my right, uh, on the bottom, I had to have a root canal and a crown put on. But uh, you guys remember, you know, I went to the dentist and it was like wiggly and I thought, oh, the cap is loose and here it was the whole tooth itself. So you, most of you guys know I had to get a clearance from my heart doctor because I was on blood thinners to stop taking my blood thinners um, for a period of time so I can get my the work done. Anyway, that all came all out already. So this is closing up, but when you have a root canal, you still have a partial tooth. So now they have to cut this gum open and take out the remaining of the tooth. And then this one here, they had to pull on my left side. Uh, it's the one, the tooth right before your molar, I think. Um, and that's wiggly. That's another tooth they have to pull out. They can't even save it, you know. And it was like February. They told me, you know, I had to get some work done to be able to save my tooth. And then you guys know what happened. March, I had the heart attack. April 1st, I had the stent put in. And my doctor would not give me clearance. I had to be on the blood thinners for at least six months before he gave me clearance. So in time, it just, it's unsavable. So anyway, that's what I'm getting done today. And then um, when they finally called me, because you, you guys and I had so many issues with this clearance thing, finally got that taken care of. And they're like, well, I said, well, I want to get a partial made, you know, until I can uh, um, afford implants. And they're like, well, we don't do that until it heals. And I never heard of that because you can get a temporary or you can get more of a permanent. I want more of a permanent so that it's um, stronger. I don't know. So now I'm going to go where, where you, you know, I, you guys know I have that main channel. I'm going to go to where you're going to see teeth missing for uh, whenever it heals, whatever that means. I'll find out more and let you guys know once I get there and talk to the dentist himself. Um, because, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I've never seen... <laughs> A dentist's office that don't want your money, you know, because this has been going on over a month now. I should have had this taken care of. The problem is I'm not scared of the actual work because I'll know they'll give me Novocaine and I won't feel it. It's the afterwards, you know, because my dentist does not believe in pain medicine. He says take ibuprofen. That's what I'm scared of. And I am a punk. I cannot handle pain. I can handle emotional pain, but not physical pain. Oh my God, I am a punk. I will literally cut you off in the middle of your conversation, in your sentence to tell you I'm in pain. I'm one of those where you don't want to be bothered. <laughs> if you know I'm in pain, like, you know, I know, I know I am. I have to work on it, but I, I, I cannot take pain. So, yeah, that's what I'm nervous about. 
so let me know what you guys have been up to what's been going on so the last time I think I filmed it was right before Thanksgiving I think we went to the grocery store to get stuff for Thanksgiving dinner and you know I didn't like do like a lot of homemade stuff I, but I did cook more than what I have cooked the past few years you know um like, I didn't make homemade gravy like I usually made, like, years before. I didn't make homemade pies and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But it actually is better than what I thought. It's it's getting better every year. I mean, you know, they say time heals all wounds, but I, no. <laughs> I just think you learn to live differently, a different lifestyle. But um, it's like I miss my mother and grandmother more as time goes on, you know but I, I put the Christmas tree up. Uh, it literally has no decorations on it, <laughs> like none. So I have to go get everything like garland, um, ornaments, Jesus. Can you let me over? Um, the tree came with lights, it's white lights. But I like multicolor lights, so I and, and it didn't come with enough lights on the tree, so I have to get one more. I have to get another string, and I want to get multicolors. Why do I look like this? All right, I think I fixed it, so hopefully that works now. Anyway, I don't even know what I was talking about. I think Christmas. Yeah, I just have the tree up. I have no other decorations, but that is better than what I've been doing because the past three years I have not put up a Christmas tree or anything. So I'm getting better. So nothing else really has been going on. Um, you know, I've been really watching like a lot of these uh, crime channels or like the news. And um, have you guys heard about the four Idaho college students? There were six of them all together. Two of them were in the basement, but the other four were not. And, um, let me know if you heard of that. Like, that's, it, it, it's so crazy. Like, for a long time, I never watched news or anything like that because it was always negative. Like, you never hear, this person saved this person from a fire. What a hero. I don't know. This person donated, the, you know, to uh, whatever. I, you never hear that anymore. It's always bad stuff. And it's so sad. And... It's just sad. I also been keeping up with the Delphi, um, the two little girls, you know, with Richard Allen, and um, supposedly how they found it was him was there. He, I guess he didn't realize because he they didn't die from gunshot from gun from bullets, but I guess he must have had a gun with him. And it must have project. One of them must a, a bullet must have projected. And he didn't know, and he didn't pick it up. And um, they found it. And when they searched his house, they found the gun and they matched it up to the gun or whatever the case may be. So I guess he figured. Well, I'm not going to get caught, you know, because you think, how can they, like, I, I always think, like, why are they so dumb? Why don't you throw the knife away or the gun or whatever somebody uses to me? Like, why not? And I guess he figured he was okay because they would never find out because he didn't use his gun to kill poor little girls. You know what I mean? So maybe he forgot that a gun, uh, you know, a bullet projected out of his gun. He, he might have forgot. What, what have you? I don't know. I have no idea, but, uh, that's why I guess, you know, sometimes you think, how come police officers don't disclose a lot of things? And that's why if they had disclosed that they found a bullet, um, there, then guess what he would have done? He would, he probably would have thrown the gun away and then they would have, he would have, they never would have, uh, been able to put him at the, there with match the gun and everything else up if that makes sense you know Richard Ramirez uh years ago I, what was it in the 70s or early 80s or something um what the cops did they went on tv and they said that they have this sh they have a shoe print so because they did that guess what Richard Ramirez did he threw his shoes in the river and got rid of his shoes so now that's why a lot of cops now they don't disclose everything that they have that 
way the person doesn't key on key in and say oh let me get rid of this hopefully you know because it, it, sometimes it's just dumb criminals that get caught <laughs> you know what I mean I don't know um, I'm just glad they they got them and I hope it goes to hell and I know that's horrible to say but I, I, I don't understand it all right, I'm gonna get off of that negative stuff. So, I'm gonna go back into my walk and talks after my mouth heals. It's been raining the past few days and it's been not real cold like normal. It's getting cold, but not as cold as what Jersey usually is. But I will get back on my walk and talks. I wanna film a lot for the month of December. Um, and then I just figured, I asked my family how they felt if like I start vlogging in the house and stuff. Not that I gotta get their permission. But it is their house as well and you know privacy reasons and stuff like that and they don't care my kids are like mom you're my mom do whatever you want um so i figured i'm going to film like me decorating the tree and different things like that uh maybe when i just cook some dinners because once it gets real real cold i can't do my walk and talks um but i'll do as much as i can outside it gives me an excuse to get out if that makes sense you know but I haven't been doing a lot because, like I said, with this tooth here, it's uh, the gums were infected. I had to get on antibiotics. But I've been in a lot of pain. Um, and so every time I go out in the cold air, when that cold air hits it, it's like a pain. Oh, my God. It goes to my ear, you know? So hopefully get this fixed and we can start doing that. I know Nala, she's ready to go on her walks because she just loves her walks. I also still like, you know, I'm going to take you guys places. I know I've been saying it. I've been saying it. Oh, once I get a car, now that I have a car, I haven't done anything. I will, I am going to do that as well. I, you know what me, what I love to do? I have not done this in a few years. Me and my grandmother, we used to love, well, when I was a kid, my mom would take me and my brother at night and we, um, would go to like those big fancy houses that had like the lights up on the houses and we would just at night for Christmas look at all the lights and stuff and then my grandmother when I got older and had a car me and my grandmother did that for many 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 years until she got a little older and she didn't want to do it you know so I'd like to take you guys and do that as well it's December 1st when I'm filming so I don't think a lot of people have their house de decorated outside yet but once it gets closer to Christmas let me know if you guys would be interested in that and I'll film it so you guys can see it because I'm gonna go anyway but if you guys would be interested in that I'll definitely film it like I am so nervous right now I don't even know what to talk about and you guys know I'm a talker like I always have things to talk about <laughs> when do I not have things to talk about but I am. I, I, I can't help it. Alright, I'm going to get off of here. I have about um, another 20 minutes of driving. And then, um, I don't know, once I get there, if I'm there a little bit early or when I'm done, I don't know. I'll come back and say my goodbyes. But I'm so nervous, I don't even know what to talk about right now. Like, I, I feel nauseous, if that makes sense, you know? So, I'll be back. All right, I just got here, and I'm nervous. It's 12.58. I have to be in there at 1, so I want to cry. Like, I want to pull off and leave. This is how nervous I am. <sighs> Reminds me of those days when I had to go to court when I used to get in trouble. Those court days. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, guys, I just got out. I'm going to end this now. They had to put stitches in, and I'm bleeding like crazy, even though I've been off my blood thinners for over a month. And they cut me here. So I'm going to get off. I'm in pain. I'll do part two in a few days. Bye, guys.